generally when shooting content for this channel I use my fancy camera but not today today we have something special an instant camera <laughs> and I'm gonna try to capture the beauty of Guam on this camera which should be interesting I've never used one before I'm gonna start here in Aganya and uh, loop all the way down the south of the island and come back up to Tamuning and I've got 30 shots so it's like an old roll of film never shot film before but hopefully I don't ruin them all <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm supposed to shake it or that's how, that's what I see in the in the olden days. I didn't read the instructions. It says it's supposed to take about 90 seconds. We are in Adaloop right now, which is just south of Agania. You can see one of the relics of World War II behind me there, and behind it is the uh, Laddie of Freedom. And then there's a uh, shrine, I've never seen this before. It's placed here after World War II to promote peace between the Japanese, the Americans, and the people of Guam. I'm now in Assen at the War in the Pacific National Historical Park. I love the row of palm trees here, so I'm gonna to try to capture that. I didn't like that one. West Virginia and there's a lot of coal mining and industry there and while West Virginia is no Guam as far as natural beauty I did find just some, some kind of strange industrial beauty and I find that here at the PowerPoint in PD too. The film comes in these little cartridges and you just line them up here drop them in. There's 10 per cartridge. And then this little window tells you how many shots you have left. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights. Stop for traffic. I'm down at Umatic now, and I'm gonna try to get this uh, these flowers right here, and then get the laddie in the background. We'll see how it goes. We'll have to use selfie mode. If I let me figure out where the road goes. I've already taken 15 of my 30 shots, and I'm not yet all the way down at the south. I have to make my way all the way back up. Uh, but you know, you can't pass up on the bridge. Say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down I'm down in Marizo and this is just a, an old gas station. I don't know how old it is, but it just has a cool look. Jumping from cliffs so high Trust in our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing up. I'm driving around the southern tip of the island right now and one thing I've noticed is that the framing in a lot of my shots is off because the viewfinder is just an optical viewfinder and it doesn't exactly line up with the lens and so you kind of got to figure out exactly how the shot lines up versus what you're seeing. These are the Inaranhan pools. Pleasant place for a little swim. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high. 
Even if the sky is falling down Even if the sky is falling down The sky is falling down I'm on my last cartridge. I've got 10 shots left going up the east side of the island and uh, pretty excited about it. This is an awesome view. Even if the sky is falling down Can you really represent Guam without Payless? We've got two shots left. So I came down here to Tanguisan Beach and I think I can get a couple good ones to finish this off here. Then I'll take them all home and figure out which ones I like the best. And we are out. Thought I was gonna get two shots, but uh, I took one and it, it just didn't do anything. It didn't develop at all, so I had to take the the second one and I'm glad I got it because I like the shot. Hey everyone, I just made it back, finally got out of the sun, got some food and water, laid out all my pictures and I wanted to show you which ones I like the most. This thing, this thing's a lot of fun. It's not, definitely not the most technical, uh, you know, professional camera out there, but have, there's just something to having a physical picture in your hand as soon as you take it. Even when it's not maybe the best photo in the world. There's something to it. I will say there's definitely two things that are tricky about this. Uh, the, the viewfinder here doesn't line up with the lens. I mentioned that already. And then uh, anytime there's like high contrast, really bright highlights or really dark shadows in an image, it, the camera just doesn't handle that very well. And that's kind of hard because in Guam, there's a lot of bright sunlight. So there's a lot of highlights. But anyway, I still think I got some good stuff I wanted to show you. All right, so this is the very first one I took and it's of the Chamorro Village. And I really like the way that this one turned out. A first ever instant photo. I then went down to, well actually I just walked across the street to the, uh, the marina there. And here you can definitely tell the boat's white and it, the highlights are just too bright with the shadows over here. And so it did a pretty good job getting those shadows, but I'd much rather have the boat <laughs> exposed properly than that ugly like shipping container or whatever that is. I then went to uh, Adeloupe, and I'd never seen this before. I, it's the shrine. I like the colors. I like the orange there. The, the photos definitely have like a like a faded look to them. Almost look vintage right out of the camera. And so I wouldn't expect like super saturated colors, but it's pretty. It's a pretty nice look, I think. Oh, I'm not going to show all these because I already did. Uh, here's another one where um, this is at Fisheye. I've seen this photo taken with some digital cameras and then edited and you can notice there the fisheye it's it's really overexposed it's hard to see but uh, I gave it a shot now this one actually these two uh, were total flops they <laughs> I was trying to shoot at the port authority and get that whatever those things are called to, to load the shipping containers I was trying to get that through and frame it shooting it through the the fence bars and so you can see I was really close to one of the fence bars there, but because the contrast was uh, so stark, it just, it, it didn't work at all. Let's see, oh, these two I took at the boat basin. I really like both of these. Uh, this one's my favorite. I took them horizontally and then that one. Let's see, any other good ones? This one, um, this one was taken in Marizo. This is an old, this, I mentioned this already, but it looks probably like it was from the 50s or something. You got that circular, almost awning thing there. And uh, the colors on that one are, are nice. This, um, this gas station was gray, but it almost makes it look black here and real nice faded look. Oh, this is a disappointment to me. 
I took this one right before going into Umatic, and I had to shoot it blind because I wasn't tall enough to get this angle that I wanted. And I think it really turned out well, except those two bars right there, they are um, part of like some kind of an electrical thing, and they got in there, and I really wish I could crop those out. <clears throat> These coconuts are painted. They're down in Marizo by the pier, uh, by the, um, I think it's a lighthouse. Anyway, they're painted down there for uh, Easter. This shot was in Inarahan uh, towards the south east side of the island, and there were some cool colors there. That one's a little bit more faded than I would like, but it was definitely one of my favorite shots. And then, oh, this one, this one was taken by accident. <laughs> I was trying to get out of my car, actually, to walk into Payless, and I got, like, a photo of my leg and part of my shoe and my car door. This intersection, you'll probably notice if you've spent any time in Guam at all. It's where the two-story McDonald's is, right when you're about to go north up into Dededo. <clears throat> and then... I uh, I like both of these. They're not They're not my favorites, but... This one is the uh, the arcade in the mall, and you can definitely tell the shadows are a little bit too dark to see much detail there. And then that one's in the Micronesia Mall right after I had picked up some food. This shot, <clears throat> I think it's great, but this shot is just, it's so easy. <laughs> the, the trees just frame this shot for you. It's, it's not a hard shot to get, and I, I just feel like you can't really mess this up. So out of all of my, my shots, uh, I think, Actually, the very first one is my favorite, and it might be because there's not a lot of blue in the image. I'm not sure. Almost all the other ones have blue in them, but uh, I just love the way that this exposed and the way that the colors are. It almost has like a steely gray look to it, and uh, just, I don't know, it's my favorite. So, well, I hope you enjoyed this visual exploration of Guam, and uh, this was a unique experience, and if you've Got a little uh, extra time on your hands? Maybe see if you can find one of these, these little uh, instant cameras and take it out exploring. This one shoots these, these little ones. You can get the cameras that shoot the big, like the old style instant, like the 4x3 or whatever those things are. You can get those, but the, the film is more expensive. This is about 75 cents a shot, and that other stuff I think is closer to like $1.50. So anyway... Hope you had fun exploring with me and taking a look at these images and uh, let me know if you happen to pick up one of these cameras and, and go out shooting. Alrighty, until next time, hope you guys have an excellent day. Bye.